Hi guys, so this video is going to be kind of long. Um, it's about paranormal and religiousness. <sighs> okay, so um, I'm sitting on my phone. I'm actually laying on it <laughs> because like YouTube capture makes you turn your phone sideways for some reason. I don't understand it, but whatever. Um, anyways, so back to the story. Someone very close to me was always a Harley rider, a bike rider. You know, he wasn't part of any gangs or anything like that. He just really enjoyed riding his motorcycle. And he was an older man, probably in his 40s, 50s. And um, he was with this woman that he met online on uh, Zeus, I think it's called. Um, something like that. But they were together for about four months. She moved back out. Okay, I'll put it to you this way. They met in January. She moved in January 29th. Okay. Um, she left a, the first time um, in July, I think. Yeah. She left in July, came back in August, and then left again in October. Well, November. She left again in November. So, um, it was right after my birthday, which is November 8th, by the way, if anybody was wondering and want to send me a gift. I didn't give any, very many gifts this year, so, yeah. Anyways, um, she left in November, a little after my birthday, which was on the 8th. So, um, Christmas Eve, everything was normal with this person that I'm speaking of that this experience happened to. And I was living with them, and I witnessed it firsthand. Um, hold on. Yeah, smoking's bad for you kids. Do not pick up this habit of smoking, please. You will regret it. You look cool, maybe. I mean, I don't know how kids are nowadays, but when I was a kid, you look cool smoking. But when you actually get hooked on it and you cannot stop smoking and it's costing you money and you're paying bills and everything like that, it's, it's really hard. But back to my point. Okay, so Christmas Eve night, everything was wonderful with this person. He was... Um, you know, enjoying the party with my daughter, myself, my in-laws, uh, my daughter's father, my mother, my grandmother, everybody was here and bringing gifts for everyone and everything. And the next morning, Christmas Eve, he never come out of his room to open gifts with my daughter because we had a Christmas with the in-laws and then we had a Christmas with us. And on Christmas morning, he never came out of his room for Christmas. And my daughter's dad went into the room to give him his presents. And he just stared at him with a blank stare. Didn't say anything. And so my daughter's dad just walked out of the room. You know, didn't say anything. And the person in question got up, shut the door, and locked it behind him. Okay. So when I got up a couple of minutes later, he comes up to me and he says, Jojo, there's something wrong with him. And I said, why? He goes, well, because when I tried to give him his presents, he didn't say anything to me. He didn't like, even look at me. He wouldn't even like anything. He's like, something's going on. And I was like, no, you know, he may just not feel good. You know, it could be anything. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm done with that. And so... So, um, a couple hours went by. This was at like 9 a.m. A couple of hours went by, and then at like 2 p.m., he opens his bedroom door and was crying, bawling, crying, calling me and my, my daughter's dad into his room. And he's like, Jojo, please don't make her act to me. I've got to tell you something. And, um, you know, it's, it's really serious. I need to tell you, but I'm scared you're going to think I'm crazy. And I was like, I, I would never think you were crazy. What's going on, you know? And um, he's like, there's demons in my room. And I'm like, what? Like, you don't think this kind of shit will ever happen. I'm like, what? And he's like, come here, look at the bed. Look at the bed moving. You see it moving? And he laid across his bed and put his arm across the bed. And he's calling these demons over to him. Mind you, this person has never done drugs doesn't drink nothing get over here my dogs are running off this person was not high they were not drunk they nothing okay and so I was like the bed isn't moving he's like yes it is and they're right here look they're right here they're coming into my arms they're coming into my feet well long story short 
around midnight that night, I had taken my daughter pre previously around 6 p.m. over to my grandmother's house, which is about, I don't know, 40 minutes away from where we stay. And, um, you know, with all of this crazy stuff happening, I wanted my daughter to be safe. You know, uh, when somebody's talking demons in their rooms and things like that, you know, I wanted my daughter to be safe. Uh, so we sent her to my grandmother's house and we come home and everything's normal. And around midnight that night, I heard the, the man in question saying, no, 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 I mean, screaming. Like somebody had a hold of him and was killing him. So we go running in there and if you've ever seen the Exorcist movies, he was laying on his bed with like his eyes rolled back in his head and he was convulsing. And he was saying that the demons were in his body um, trying to possess him. And me, I freaked out. I called 911 and this is a true story. I have videos to prove this, okay? This, this is not made up. <laughs> and it happened in this house right here. It happened in this house. And um, so what I did was I told him, I was like, listen, there's, there's no demons in here. There's nothing here. And I ran outside and I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was like crying my, my eyes out. Like I was terrified. Like I didn't know what was going on. This person had acted completely normal. I've known this person my entire life. This is not somebody I just met. I've known this person my entire life and nothing like this has ever, ever, ever happened. Okay. So, um, I called 911, the sheriff's department come out here and they spoke with him and he acted completely normal. And they're like, well, you know, there's nothing we can do. He's not threatening himself. He's not threatening anyone else.